the fifth video of the APE tutorial video series. In this video, we will use the restriction ligation assembler to clone a restriction fragment into a vector. So for this, I have a simple vector that has a multiple cloning site between this T7 and this T7 promoter fragment. It looks like this. So there's a T7 facing forward, there's a multiple cloning site, and a T7 in reverse. And I've arranged to have a DNA sequence that has restriction cloning sites on either end that are compatible with this multiple cloning site. But if you were trying to clone some fragment into a vector and didn't know what the restriction sites were, how would you go about finding compatible restriction sites that you could use to clone any fragment into any multiple cloning site? First, select the multiple cloning site within the destination vector, then go to the enzyme selection dialog. Find all of the unique restriction enzymes within the destination vector by um, setting this to the destination, set this to all, set this to unique, and then press select. If you'd like to limit this to the enzymes that you have on hand within your inventory, select this group and press and, and that will eliminate all of the enzymes that are not within the, in this case, JORG enzymes group. Now set the region to selection, and that will make it look at um, only restriction enzyme counts that are within the region from 39 to 220. Then if we ask for enzymes that are unique and, so these are, will be the ones that are um, underlined and are red, that will be this set of restriction sites. As you see, most of them stayed selected because most of the unique enzyme sites within this vector are within the multiple cloning sites. If we now change the fragment to our XPST fragment and ask for enzymes that are unique within the entire fragment, you see now there are only four restriction enzyme recognition sites that are both unique within the multiple cloning site and are also unique within the um, selected fragment. If we highlight those restriction enzymes sites and look at the fragment, you see that two of them are the sites that were designed to be on either end, and two of them are uh, coincidentally unique both within the multiple cloning site of the destination vector and within the fragment. So we can um, get rid of the coincidental sites. You can hold down the shift button while clicking on any restriction site in the enzyme selection dialog, and that will select only that site. Then we can select the other site. We can highlight, and now we see the EXPA site on one end and the PST site on the other end using the X-ray window by pressing the space bar. We can then highlight that set of sites within the multiple cloning site and see a map. And you see there's an X by PST within the multiple cloning site between these two T7 promoter sites in our destination vector. Now, to use the um, restriction ligation assembler tool, we need to do a virtual digest. So go to enzymes, digestion dialog, make a double digest of the L4440 destination vector, add a new lane where you use the EXPA PST fragment, and also make a double digest PST EXPA. Make that gel, and you can see now this fragment is our vector fragment, this fragment is our insert fragment, and there are small little bits of DNA that are um, trimmed out of the multiple cloning site or off of the ends. Now we're ready to use our restriction ligation assembler. So open up the restriction ligation assembler and it says click a gel band or select a window. So if we um, move our windows around so we can see the 
digest bands. The first band we'd like to click is the vector band. And you see by just clicking on that band, it fills in the um, name of the window. It tells us there's a PST site on one side and an Expo site on the other. If we reverse complement it, you can see that it will um, show the um, features in the plasmid reverse comp the fragment that we have reverse complemented. And then there is a um, red line that connects the five prime end around to the three prime end. So it makes a PST fragment on one side and shows the um, a three prime overhang of a PST and the um, five prime overhang of an expa. If we wanted to process these ends to be um, like a T4 clinau or a mung bean exonuclease, we could process um, those ends and we can process um, this end. We can process them differentially or we can make them the same. Um, and if you process them to make them blunt, then you can ligate this vector um, as a simple blunt ligation. But for our purposes, we don't need to process either of the ends. So we set this to none and we set this to the same. Now we see that we can't ligate that together into a circle. But if we now follow these instructions, click a gel band and click this band, now you see that you can, um, you can see the features for the um, new fragment that I've made you see that it has an expa on one side and a PST on the other, and now you can um, ligate those fragments together. If we were to reverse this, you would see that it would not be able to be ligated. So we have a directional cloning. If these were blunt and these were blunt, you could ligate it in either orientation and you could generate um, you can generate both of the products. You can select this to generate several products without having to reopen the um, restriction ligation cloning dialog if, to make several fragments all at once, or several ligations all at once. But in this case, we don't need to process either of the ends, and we don't need this reverse complemented we can simply do the ligation of the PST and the expa fragments and generate a new DNA sequence. And if we look, we can see that now from between this T7 and this T7 of the original vector, we have our promoter and M cherry fragments inserted at the, between the PST and the expa site. So now we can um, go on to save this DNA and um, or we can um, change our comments. You can see that APE has automatically um, added the comment that it was generated by a ligation reaction of this vector from a PST site at position 159 to an Expa site at position 94 and the DNA Expa PST fragment from position 2 to position 1896. These are all um, indexed to the top strand cut site. So you can save this and um, uh, go on to do other restriction ligation um, reactions however you like. That's it for the fifth video of the APE tutorial video series.